G'day everybody. So today we're going to be looking at how you can balance a propeller at home. You might just want to check to see if the propeller you're running is balanced or like this one, you can see it definitely has a heavy blade and it's nowhere near balanced. Um, I do have a much more elaborate setup than this obviously to do prop balancing, but I just wanted to show you, you don't need all that. I've just got two levels here on bricks leveled up with packers. So they're level to each other and I checked them this way too. So that's a level plane. And one of the main things you need is just a shaft that is gonna fit through that hub and be tight in there and straight so that it can maintain the center line of the prop. So you just gotta find, yeah, a shaft that fits the center and then you're off. You can actually balance the prop perfectly. And like I said, it's, it's easy. And yeah, the performance difference I find is uh, yeah really good. A prop like this shaking away um, just wastes horsepower. Okay, so the first thing I do when I'm working on a propeller is I number all the blades, just so I know which blade we're looking at. So before I start balancing a prop, I like to just make a, a quick check to make sure the blades are the same shape and size. So what I do um, is just cut a template of one of the blades accurately to the outside edge and then I just check it on the other blades. So you can see that that blade there is actually a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to have to do is mark, mark that and grind it back to the line. So blade three is bigger. We'll just check that one there. Yes, and blade one is bigger as well. So blade, blade two is our smallest blade. So what I'll do is I'll mark, yeah, blade one and blade three and grind them back to match that smaller blade, blade two. And then, yeah, we can start balancing. And we'll have a look to see which blade is heavier or blades. Yeah, so you can see blade number one is definitely heavier than these other two. So what we'll do, someone's already had a go at this in the past it looks like, but we'll remove some meat from this area here and blend that blade back in. Um, you don't want to take um, any material off the, the pressure side of these blades. It's quite a specific shape. Um, to cut the water and, and whatnot, but you can, yeah, you can remove it from the back edges here to remove a bit of weight from the blades. So we'll uh, do a bit of grinding there and see if we can get this prop back in balance. You do need to keep a close eye on how much material you're removing. Make sure to leave enough strength in those blades. So now I've taken a fair bit of meat there off number one, blade number one. So we will see if that now is still the heaviest blade. Okay, so yeah, blade number one, which used to be the heaviest, is now not at the bottom. We have, yeah, basically, I think we've probably got to take a fair bit off three and a little bit more off one. So I'll take a bit off three now, because that is definitely heading towards the heavy side now. So I'll grind a bit of three and a little bit more of one. And what we're looking for is we're looking for being able to put the propeller on any angle and for it not to have a blade fall to the bottom. So you can see that I've really just given this quite a rough grind. I have been careful to maintain the same blade shape. What I've used at this stage is a 40 grit flap disc and I'm not worried about smoothing these out yet. I'm just trying to get the weight of the blades pretty close at this stage and then we'll smooth them out after. So now I'm looking to see if any of the blades are going to drop to the bottom. So we are getting pretty close. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that at this stage. So what we'll do is we'll set this up and I will smooth all of these rough marks out and shape the blades a little bit better. 
and then we'll just do, it, just do a final check to see if we are balanced and then we'll give it a spin up on the drill as a very crude way to see if yeah it's all shaking or how, how balanced we are and then we can clean it up and paint it and we're sorted so i'm going to get into yeah just smoothing out some of these uh grind marks and i've got the propeller clamped just in an old trestle just to show you you don't you don't need elaborate stuff to do this i'm going to yeah sand sand these scuffs out with a six inch sander this at the moment is 80 grit paper and then we'll go finer after that so i'll get into sanding this down Now that those blades are sort of all fared back in and the big scuffs are taken out, I'm going to be going to... 125 millimeter poly flap disc. Yeah, it's kind of like scotch bright stuff. So that will just, yeah, take the little scuffs out of it. Now I'm going to a fine, smooth finish. Same scotch brighty sort of stuff. Okay, so now that they are sanded back up, the back of these blades and fared in, it's important to double check, make sure that your balance is still reasonably good yeah so that's pretty close we'll spin this up in a drill and yeah just have a visual as to see yeah whether it's shaking about or it's running smooth and then we can yeah give this a quick quick sand prep for paint and yeah, give it a paint. And we're sorted. Right, let's go. That's looking awesome. So this is all sanded up and prepped, ready for painting. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and etch prime this now and then I'll put a coat or two of black on after the etch prime is dried. I uh, find that um, when you etch prime stuff, it's good to give it a dusting first and then a proper coat. Just seems to, yeah, adhere better. Same with the black. Hopefully some people have found this video helpful on yeah checking the balance of a propeller or like this old one that was definitely out of balance. Yeah, bringing something like this back to life. I'm very happy with this now. It's well balanced and it looks awesome. Yeah, so take your time with it. It's not too hard. As I've shown you, like it's easy enough to do at home. All right, I'll see you guys out on the water. Cheers.